I'll never forget the first day I met Megan Mills. It was Memorial Day weekend, 1997. And I had landed my dream job as a pool lifeguard at the Oh So Lovely Atlanta Beach Club. Yeah! 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 Now, for those of you who don't know me, I'm a very loud, occasionally obnoxious girl who's born to an Irish Catholic mother and a very not Irish Catholic father. I'm originally from Breezy Point, and I moved to Rockland Center later on. Uh, my pastime, my favorite pastimes include laughing, talking, gossiping, drinking, and if I can do all these while sitting on the beach, that's my ideal death. So, you can imagine my delight when I met Megan Minnitsky. <laughs> we were instant friends. I remember going home for my first day of work, and my mom goes, oh, so how was it? I go, Ma, I met this girl at ABC who is exactly like me. <laughs> Her response? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit was right. <laughs> Almost on contact, we doubled our social calendars, dating prospects, friends, and knowledge of bars that were currently accepting underage chalk fired IDs as valid forms of identification for entry. It was a 16-year-old's dream come true and 16-year-old mother's nightmare come true. Our mothers were always trying to keep tabs on us, but now with two different towns and double the amount of things to do, it was no easy task. And if our curfew somehow got tonight, well, we would just check back in, our parents would go back to sleep, head right back out to the park. Um, now, keep in mind we had a job, and we had to show up someday after drinking every single night on three hours of sleep to save lives. This was our job. Um, and I tell you, if we actually had to save any lives, uh, we would have drowned ourselves. I'm sorry, Mr. Powers. Uh, and that is how our teenage adventure began. We went on to work at ABC for many, many years, and uh, slowly, very slowly, we eventually turned into young women, going off to college, uh, moving out, getting jobs, and of course falling in love, which obviously is why I'm here today. I wish I could say that I also remember the first day I met Anne, but I don't, and I really think the reason for that is because as soon as he entered our lives, it felt like he had always been there, and none of us could really remember what Adam, Megan's life was like before him. I mean, listen, we always knew she had a thing for men in uniform, so that was a good thing. Uh, and there's got to be a law out there that teachers have to marry cops, I think that's somewhere in the rule books. Um, Plus, given the hours that girl logged at the end, I mean, seriously, where else was she going to meet her husband? Um, but Adam is so much more perfect than that for Megan. He fit into every single aspect of her life. His friends became her friends, her family became his family. They were inseparable immediately and in love from the very beginning. Adam is everything Megan needs in a man. He's incredibly kind, caring, supportive, and strong. He's the calm to her crazy. <laughs> and Megan in return makes Adam the luckiest man on earth because she is the most loyal and honest person that I know. She will make him laugh every single day and will be by his side whenever he needs to cry. There is no one I know who loves children more than Megan and she will make an amazing mother to his children someday. He, sorry, that was a little slower. Um, <laughs> he will never find someone who loves him more and I know the opposite is true. I could not be happier for my friends Adam and Megan today, or more honored to have the opportunity to speak on their wedding day. It is rare when everybody knows that they are absolutely in the presence of true love, and today is definitely one of those days. So I wish you both an absolute lifetime of happiness. You deserve it more than anyone on earth, and I'd like everybody to toast to uh, Mr. and Mrs. Duncan. Okay, well, I don't have nearly as much to say as Kate. <laughs>